Over the years, I've probably seen every mistake possible made when installing metal roofing, and honestly, I've made a few of them myself. I put this section together to highlight a few of the most important areas that people commonly make mistakes on when they're installing their metal roof. For more information on all these different practices, please refer to the specific section in the video covering what we're talking about. People often make the mistake of lapping their panels the wrong way. Remember, you always put the fat lip down first. That's the lip that's got this extra wide little leg attached to the corrugation. You want to cover it so that the short lip is showing when you're done. Pay close attention that each of your screws is set correctly. You want to make sure that the screws are not over tightened where the washer is splayed out, invisible outside the metal band around the screw. You want to make sure that the screw is not under tightened and the washer is a little bit loose. You always want to put your screws on the flat place right in the middle of the panel. If you're having trouble setting your screws and they wobble a lot and tend to fall off when you're trying to put them in your panel, check to make sure that your nut driver is in good working order. If you ever find yourself thinking that you can fix a mistake or a difficult area of your roof by just laying on a thick layer of caulk after you're done, think again. Your goal needs to be to waterproof your house using the panels and trim correctly. Caulk or sealants should be a secondary and not a primary means of waterproofing. And remember, you always want to put the caulk on underneath the panel or trim where it's protected from sunlight and weather because it's going to last a lot longer in those positions than if you just lay it on top of whatever you're doing. Some people have the tendency to want to let their metal panel hang over the edge of the roof either too much or too little. In most instances, I recommend only letting it overhang the roof an inch and a half or two inches. This applies to both the bottom end and the gable edge of the roof. The most common area on any roof to have a leak down the road is around a penetration like this PVC pipe. Pay close attention to how you flash these sort of penetrations. Most people have the tendency to just put a couple screws in the boot and lay the caulk on thick to keep the water out. When the caulk wears out, you're gonna have a leak there. When you're installing these boots, make sure to put the sealant on underneath the base of the boot so that it's hidden from the sunlight and then put enough screws in the boot to hold the base down flat against the metal. And those are the five most common mistakes to avoid when installing your metal roof. To watch the 13 other segments of this video series, please go to roofingintelligence.com.